never disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy. Yeah, listen. Here we go. Welcome to Outside the Gorilla Nims, the 2024 edition. Woo. I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing, but it's, it's we're it. fucking here. Welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nims. It is a blistering 30 degrees in Coney Island. It's gotta be more. Let me see what it says the feels like. Yeah, it feels like. Feels oh, like. Oh, I can tell you what it, it feels says, like. It says feels like 24. So that's how I used to do it. Look, so, so I used to drive the street sweeper and sanitation, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not from New York, the street sweeper just comes and cleans the side of the streets, like the curb thing. lines, the curb. I got you know mad saying? tickets from the street sweepers. Yeah, I'm facts. always on Yo, the I used wrong to, side of the I used to street. go behind the people that didn't move. And just honk the horn? No, and just act like I was going on the, the walkie-talkie, but I wasn't even going on that. I'd be like, yo, the fell, fuck your life, this motherfucker don't want to move, not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. And then they just get scared and drive off. Wow, <laughs> but, yeah, Yo, because sometimes oh, if I didn't do it, if I didn't do it, you have to come back around yeah. and fucking do it again. So I'm like, bro, I'm not coming back around. That's because you was out. really doing that. I used to just be like, yeah, get facts. the fuck it. So, facts. basically, go, my boy. with the sanitation thing, if it's 32 degrees, or lower, you don't have to use water. Now, when, you, when you're when doing the, the street sweepers, you have to pull over and fucking put a big ass hose into the fire hydrant. Bro, it's like a whole big process. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get I used to hate turn doing the that fucking shit. top of the. So if it's 32 yeah. degrees, you don't have to do it because the water's gonna freeze. Yeah. So I always used to go with the feels like in the thing. I'm like, yeah. yo, it says it feels like 32, but it's really like 45. But like, yo, it says feels like 32, bro. I don't want this shit to freeze. And then you put the, that's when the dust goes up. Yeah, that's when you kill the community. Oh, that's, oh that's man, that shit is cook. miserable. So it feels like 24. Shouts that's to Travel from Smoothie. They don't, they don't sponsor us, but they should because I drink this shit every day. Literally. I don't eat vegetables. I don't fucking, uh, yeah, I don't eat vegetables. So I, I drink this every day. Yeah, it's just as good. This is the Gorilla Special. You also could get it across the street. It's mango, pineapple, uh, orange. Spinach kale. and kale. Yeah, it's good. Cause kale don't taste like that. I, I get it from across the street. That shit is alright. Yo, bro. My, I aired my system out this today. What? So I've been on my health shit. Facts. So since the last episode, when we jumped in the water, I said I was done with the all. You know, I was gonna eat right. Facts. So basically, I started. I haven't drank soda since that last episode. All I Fire. drink is water. Um, Facts. Clap it up for that. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's big. That's good. That's good, yeah, bro. For me, really I, I, I hate water. So I, with every meal I drink water, I'm drinking all my water. And I set my alarm 6 p.m. every day. I didn't hire a personal chef, but I set my alarm every day 6 p.m. And that's the latest that I'm eating dinner. So after that, I might have like a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios or something. Yeah, something like that. But... I'm, eat, I'm so I'm doing my best. So to you're fucking, so you're fasting after that. Yeah, I'm, I'm abiding it. by, you know, these shits in my mind. Once I put my mind to it, yeah, it's fire. It gets done. Yeah. But late, the the I bought a big gallon water. I chopped up limes and lemons and put that shit in there. Yeah, that's just true. let it sit in the refrigerator. But then I took it out and just let it warm and just stay like room temperature. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I drink that every morning. Bro, that shit airs my whole system yes. out, bro. Facts. Yo. I'm so I, happy to hear this. I took a shit like <laughs> this so long. Fire. Like a one, Damn. like a one log. Like that shit this. Was, it came out the water. It almost came out the water. Virus. And it was like <laughs> it almost came out it was the water. Like green, bro. It was like the color of your jacket. I was like, all right, I'm getting healthier. That's what that means? <laughs> I got well, you that's be not what the, you gotta get, get all this. Fuck. You know how much shit he has in his gut? I mean, hey, in yo. general, all of us? Oh <laughs> no, I'm whoa, serious. Whoa. Like, you have McDonald's in there from like 10, 12, because that shit, you don't digest it. <laughs> from 10, 12 years you, ago. Yo that's, yo, that's a fact. That's not, I'm not just saying that. That's true. You have How do you get it out? You, you gotta do a flush. You gotta detox. You have to. So uh, I read that. So I read that the lime and lemon water, right? At room fat. temperature, it, it takes the, like, the intestinal lining. Like it, it clears out the mucus and intestinal lining of your stomach and intestine. Because it's alkalizing the water. Yo, so Naturally. I did that. So I was drinking it cold. <coughs> yes, last night I took it out and just let it sit there. So when I wake up, I, I drank that shit this morning instantaneously. I was like, oh, shit. Right so I drank that and coffee. 
And yo, I used to drink coffee with like 10, 12 sugars. Like Fact. I drink my sugar with a little bit of coffee. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Insane. Lately, I just been putting like a dash that much of creamer and then just the coffee. And eventually I'm gonna start drinking my coffee black. Because that also speeds up your metabolism mm -hmm. and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, facts. So it's little shit like that that, you know. It, Why, are you it, trying to be skinny? I'm not trying to be skinny at all. I'm trying to drop like 100 pounds. So right now, I weighed my, when I started working out, I'm six foot four. I started working out last year. I weighed myself, I was 370. Dang. Bro, that's next to 400 pounds. That's, yeah, you round up. So I'm not like. <laughs> I'm not like a complete lard ass, but I'm a fat ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just that I'm tall, Small so it's heads. not as bad as if I was shorter. So I'm like, damn, I'm almost 400. So I'm working out all last year, but I'm not eating right. Mm. So you just so this year weight? when it started, I weighed myself mm. 385. Damn. <laughs> Cause you put muscle. The muscle mat. So I'm 385. My goal is to get to like 270, and that's still big. You know what I'm saying? Like a UFC fighter, they can't even fight past 265. Like that's the limit of heavy. You trying to be a UFC fighter? You know what I'm saying? You like Butterbean status. Facts. That's like a bug. But Butterbean must have been like 5'5 five, five or some shit like that, bro. Yeah, probably. So, so basically that's my goal, like 270. <laughs> so I already got the working out down pat. Like me and Melo, my cousin Melo, we, yeah, we've been doing our thing. The last two weeks, we haven't missed a day. We, sure. We'll do five days a week then take the weekend off. You know, you gotta let your body heal and all of that. So yeah, fine. we've been on our shit and Melo's coming on tour, so we're gonna be chilling. Yes. Um, but now with the eating right, I'm just trying to lose the shit. That's it, just like lose special weight, like sp specific weight. I don't want to be one of them fat dudes that they skin is hanging off. Yeah, fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. nah, just we in the gym, we getting it shaped up. You're, and, doing, uh, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, you're, you're going, going in the right, right direction. Exactly. Exactly. I'm cool to look like an actual gorilla, like a fat stomach and the diesel arms. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm and the, really and the three centimeters and the three centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, if, you wanna, if you want to be a gorilla, you got to eat like a gorilla. You know what they eat, right? They oh, eat you want to talk about eating? Oh, here we Let's go. Let's talk here about this go. fake ass Wait, eating. Oh, no, she no, got no, called no, that. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. In my, in, you know, in my defense, it looked like it was I didn't like even say what happened. Oh, okay. Did I say what happened? Yeah, happened yet? Okay. And then I'm going to come with my defense. So today is... It's Monday, the, the January 15th, right? We go on tour and we start the tour in two days. January 17th, the tour starts. NemsOnTour.com, the Disrespect Tour, is coming to a city near you. So we start Wednesday. This, today's a Monday. We start in two days in Buffalo. Hold on. Today's Martin Luther is, King Day, and we want to say happy Martin, Martin Luther King Day to everybody. I'm okay. Yeah, facts. Facts. What the fuck was that, bro? This structure of this podcast is amazing. Facts. Top notch. Yeah. Shouts to Busy, Shouts who's not here. Yeah. I don't even oh, know what Busy does. Yo, he's he was this close to getting fired. Now he's this close to getting fired. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm Damn. So we'll get back into Martin Luther King. That's why we need live action here. Live action couldn't come. He's at work. Yeah. So I'm sure he'll pop up at some point. Yeah. But uh, so the 13th was the one year anniversary party, right? So we had, you know, we had a great time. Facts. We dropped those bearded goose hats that you see Pies and Six rocking. Facts. So we have Pies, shouts to Two Face and uh, who else, brother? And my man, my man Tracy that owns the Coney Stacey. Island Thunder. Stacy, that owns the Coney Island Thunder. Um, brought us Mad Pies at LMB, the best pizza in New York City, LMB Spumoni Gardens. So every, I'm like, yo, everybody eat. There was way more than enough for everybody. So Chrissy comes. Late. Late, late, late. So everybody that comes I was getting a new in, whip, so I have an excuse. Yeah, we're going to get into it the new whip. It took me a minute. It took me a minute, but I, I made it. I so basically, up. everybody that walked in, I was like, yo, you want a slice? You want some LBs? Go get. I asked Chrissy, yo, go go get a slice. She said, oh, yeah. All right. She didn't so, even hesitate. She didn't even hesitate. Facts. I'm going to let you tell your story. It. Go ahead. And then it dawned on me. No, no. It did not That's dawn not on me. That's not what happened. Tell the truth. It's two vegans that were in here. Oh, yeah. Haitian H Pat H and DP1 from the Heavy Hitters. DJ, they yeah. both are vegans. So when I offered them, a, they was like, nah, we vegan. As they said that, I'm looking at Chrissy eating the pizza. 
Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Definitely didn't say that. <laughs> yo, and then I said, yo, hold up. Ain't you a yeah. fucking vegan? What you doing eating this pizza? And the two vegans turned around like, <laughs> yeah, facts. That's crazy. The vegan police is a real thing. Let me tell you something. So if you know I'm vegan, right? It's almost like an, uh, if I have a nut allergy. Would you just offer me a peanut butter smoothie? So why the fuck are you going to offer me a pizza with cheese? Why that, would you eat it? Because it doesn't even look like there's any, it looks like a, like a tomato, like a tomato square. You from Brooklyn, you know what no, LMB is. Get the LMB's fuck out of here. What the fuck? Bro, don't do that. Don't that's do that. Crazy. You that's don't know LMB? That's crazy you offer me a fucking non-vegan slice. Facts. That's like, that's like somebody offering pot weed when his New Year resolution was not to smoke till August. I smoke. Right? Corey Gunn, How shout out doing? Corey Gunn. How are we doing so on our He just was smoking before the podcast. Yo, listen, man, if you fuck with me, keep it real, man. Don't smoke weed. Take a bump. <laughs> smoke some dust. Be a real, be a, be a fuck, real one. You be heard? Be a crackero. Fuck yeah, it. Man. Take a you blast. You with me? Man, weed ain't enough. Keep it real. <laughs> Sniff some coke. Sniff a bag of dope, man. Damn. That, then you really doing something, man. This weed shit is bullshit. Everybody <laughs> smokes weed. Be original. Be original. Be OG. Fucking sniff some crocodile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crocodile. From Ukraine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be a real one. Let me fucking throw this fucking shit Yeah, out. live action coming. Yo. He sent them a text shit uh, Yeah, that was live action. Yo, shouts to, uh, I forgot who sent me this, but this is a fire-ass hat. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? With the G logo. Boom. Instead of water guns this season. Weapons. Yeah, anybody that passes by, <laughs> we're just going to throw this at them. You heard? Like, whoosh. You know what I'm saying? That's what like 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 I'm It wasn't even a North Face. Yeah, look. Yeah. South Face, yo. That shit was <laughs> South Face. <laughs> that shit was nothing. Like the South Pole shit. That shit ain't had nothing. Yo, what's homie from Miami's uh, uh, Frankie Faze? What's his shit? Rugama. Rugama. Shouts to Rugama.com. Dope ass graffiti website. And uh, go check it out. Shout out Frankie Faze, too. That's my boy. Come Got on, it. papi. Come on, papi. Come, come. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That was the fastest walk run I've ever seen. Yeah, but something was, something was, uh, something was a little wrong. Man. Something was a little <laughs> off. <laughs> something, something was a little off there. Come, 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 come. <coughs> Yo, so rugama.com for all your graffiti needs. They got dope ass videos of graffiti all over the place. Go check them out. Shouts to Frankie Faze. Now, this guy got the gun in the guitar case. The Desperado. <laughs> My Ooh. name is Gorilla. We didn't even do introductions. Yeah, what's up? What we My doing? My name is Gorilla Nems. Yeah. I'm the originator of this whole shit. I made Coney Island. Man. Like, I, I created it, put it Whoa. in Brooklyn. That's you know fire. <laughs> Sitting to the right of me. Pause. <laughs> I thought you were giving the introduction. Yeah, in fact, pause. Sitting to the right of me is the illest heart attack surgeon. No, no, illest heart attack patient. <laughs> So I'm all fucked up. Sitting to the right of me is my man Paz. Make some noise. Yeah, clap it up, clap it up, puppy. Clap it up, puppy. Sitting to the right of him, to the pie. right of him, is the OG lesbian Chrissy Longstocking. Chrissy Longstocking. That's fire. That's fire. Tell me that all day. You gotta adjust the audio, puppy. From the car. Oh. So are you. Hey, come here, maricón. Come on, maricón. Come on, maricón. <laughs> Yo, six. What do those jeans oh, yeah. say? What kind of jeans are those? Jordash. <laughs> too tight. Those spandex jeans? Que <laughs> lindo. Que lindo. Those are Jordash. They got the thing. <laughs> My boy FIFA got the wild childbearing hips. Hey, Dito. He's ready to give birth. <laughs> Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> Clap it up. Yo, so. Clap it up. Clap it up. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you see what happens? Bro, it's brick. <laughs> well, I think the only other day that was this cold was Little, the Destroy episode. And Little Mo. And Little Mo. Little Mo, we had to go on that side. Yeah. Because we had to have the sunlight on us. There's That's no sunlight out right now. It's early, too. Six ain't have a jacket on that day. Yo, Six tried to be cute with his fucking balls. Oh. Sergio. <laughs> Oh, his life, he wanted to show the fit, well, no He caught what. COVID that day, he didn't even know it. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, so now let's get into the motherfucking 
Let's get this out the way. Yeah. So that's the monster energy. They've been holding us down. Fact. They holding us down on the tour. They holding us down in the podcast. They hold it down doing my videos. Like monster energy. I don't know what they talking about with that fucking devil shit. You know yeah, I don't know about. Yeah, I've, I've heard. I've heard that, that shit, shit trash. You no, know, people try to make anything. The most out of anything. Yeah, you know? word. Facts. They turn every, anything into something evil. Well, no, I thought you was going to go with the conspiracy. Yeah, No, facts. but wait, but have you seen that video? <laughs> hey, crazy. so say how you feel. It's crazy. I mean, I haven't seen that video in a while. I mean, I think that there is something, you know, behind all this stuff. They do throw that shit in our faces, you know? So hey, yo. I, I believe. <laughs> what are they throwing in our faces? Though? What are they throwing in your they, face that they, you they, believe that? I mean, th I just feel like shit like that, like. Hold on, she got a crazy <laughs> lesbian. She got like, a crazy with lesbian. The, with the, with the pet no, no, with the pedophilia <laughs> shit. And like the evil, you know, people selling their souls for fame. That's all real. That's all that's real. And you, they throw little signs in your face, you know, especially like, you know, there's little symbols and shit for like pedophiles and stuff. So they'll have it like. Just so they did an you. interview with Kevin Spacey, who is, you know, this Who's whole a notorious boy fucker. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Him he's and Tom a, he's Hanks. A, he's a boy toucher. And Tom Hanks? Tom, no. Tom Hanks no, too. He's Tom America's sweetheart. No, no. Have you? I just watched that movie How Big the Don other Travolta. day, and it, it makes so much more sense now. Why? Why? Because, you ever watched the movie Big? Of where course. He's like, yeah, 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 that was my first time ever watching it. And it was just like when he rents the hotel room with, the little, with his little best friend, I was like, he's loving that in real life. That shit was weird. I feel like shit like that, that's when they throw it in your face. But for example, anyway, Kevin Spacey was doing an interview and everyone knows he's just a child molester. And there's this little symbol that is like, I can't draw it, but there's a symbol that, that's literally known for pedophilia. It's in the CIA. It's a known symbol. It's in and, the CIA? No, like the CIA they put it, it out. They, okay, yeah, they, yeah, they, they put it out. There's they, certain yeah. symbols that pedophiles use. And there was, he was sitting on the couch in an interview and, and the fucking pillow that he was sitting on had the symbols all over it. Like pattern was the, the symbols. Symbol? It's just like this, this almost like, I, don't, I can't yeah, explain yeah. it. It's just like this square wraparound symbol. I really? can show it to you guys, yeah. Yeah, and, I want to see they, And they just, yeah, I'll show it to you. And nice. there's a lot of people like Ellen DeGeneres. Wow, I'm going off. But there's, I mean, again, this is the internet and stuff like that, but this shit is real shit. Nah, I but I, I saw can. that Barack Obama gave all these people medals of freedom. And look at all those medals and, of freedom. And, were and all, all, all of them were on fucking Epstein Island. All, yeah. Every single fucking person that got the medal. Yep. Oh, bro, you're yep. dead ass, bro. And I was like, nah. Could this it is... be that that was their like reward? Like, yeah, like, like I mean, yeah, Oba 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 nah, but they already was on the island. Like, yeah. Tom Hanks been there several times. They all have been there, and it's creepy to me. Like, y'all know. And Disney was going there, like, sending cruises for kids yeah, to the snorkel kids there, bro. Snorkel at That's his insane. island. To Epstein Island for like nine years, bro. Yo, That's you know crazy. Yeah, but yeah, they showed uh, Jelaine Maxwell. She's, uh, you know, over there Just with the saying, kids. Yeah. Yeah, Ghislaine, Ghislaine, yeah, Ghislaine. Ghislaine, oh. yeah, nah, <laughs> She did it like she had a beach, all right? We talk about shit like this on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we're not shooting on that. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, so look. So anyway, they like just that, throw that shit in your face, I, I don't feel. read into shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a type of person that, if it ain't blatantly in my, like, pause. Oh, uh, yeah. My, hey. yes, but, yo, yeah. if it's not, like, I'm the type of person if I feel away, I say it. So I expect the same done to me. Like if I if it if it's I don't read into things because sometimes you might just be bugging. You don't Facts. believe in conspiracy theories or you think they just call I it believe a some some shit some shit makes sense to me, but I don't mm -hmm. when you when you waste not waste, but when you spend too much time just constantly think about that shit, bro. That yeah, shit you're going to a fucking rabbit hole that you could never crazy. one of my coworkers. I got to a deep Yeah, during during, during like um the pandemic and Trump and all that shit. He yeah. went into like a QAnon and he's like gone now. Like that's all he Ooh. does, bro. One of my coworkers from Sanitation. Facts. He just I went into like, like a fucking people. rabbit hole. Like we can't even get him out now. Nobody. Fuck him. Fuck him, <laughs> man. Fuck his life. Fuck his life. Well, listen, Storm Monster Capital. Energy. This is the Monster Energy drip check. Drip check. Let's do Drippy. it. Oh, we're starting off. How about them fucking cowboys? You heard? Yeah, bro. Wow. I wear. Fuck out of here. I wear. I don't care, like, the sports team, I wear whatever matches my sneakers. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about that. Like, I wear Red Sox shit, I wear Eagles shit. There's only one sports franchise I won't wear their shit no matter what, and that's the Cowboys. Because their, their fans are just, like, front runners. Yeah. Like, they're just, and they're obnoxious. Yeah, clap it up for that. Clap so, it up. I don't like Cowboy fans from New York either. So, look, there's one thing that's almost as good as a Giants win, and that's a Cowboys, Cowboys loss. Yeah, you know in, the in the playoffs, especially. So wow. all that cowboy shit, it's like... Thank you. 
They're in the same place as the Giants. They're sitting home watching fucking the playoffs just like the Giants, all right? Yeah, and all we get a better draft. All you did was embarrass yourself and we get a better draft pick. In your own fucking stadium. So, That's... with the drip check today, we got the FYL, Gorilla G, Green Bay Flip. We got the hoodie and the hat. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Then we got the one of six. Shouts to my boy, Tommy Rebel. This is a chain stitching. Now, before embroidery, like in the 1940s and all of that, they did the stitching by hand, every thread. So this is an official Coney Allen steeplechase OG replica of the logo and everything. And it's chain stitched. That's this fire. is a one of six. This is the only one on a fucking car. Uh, on a car hot. And that's what we ran. Then we got the essential. These are the warmest pants I got. So I made sure I wear them. The essential fucking polar fleece camo. And then we got the Jordan 7s. Uh, and you know, I love Jordan 7s. That's my favorite shit. So that's what's up with me. Uh, I got the bearded and, goose. And no jewelry because it's too cold. Yeah. That should be fucking. Oh, look who we got. Billionaire Bash. Yo. Oh. Hey, yo. Yo, 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 come on up. Get the fuck over here. Come here, bro. Bash, pull up, man. Bash, pull up. Yo, it's fucking freezing, bro. Yeah, continue your Oh, yeah, I got the, the Bitted Goose Gorilla FYL collab. This shit is the hardest shit out right now. I ain't gonna lie. The detail on this shit is fire. Sold out in a day. Facts. I got the, uh, this is my son's mama. He told me to say that. You could wear it, but say it's mine. So this <laughs> is my son's shit. Nice. I don't let the bag come through. I got a Supreme a green hoodie. I wore these pants before, but these are the warmest pants I got. This is a Supreme Timberland collab. And I got the uh, FYL socks <laughs> and the uh, Beef and Brocks. That's what we're doing. What's up? I got. <laughs> I was texting Bash. Yo, come on, talk your shit, bro. Yeah. Yo, that was Sebastian Telfair. He just pulled yeah, up. He just facts. said, fuck your life. So I told him to pull back up. You know, he been going super viral right now with all that fucking camera on, uh, the camera on show. He's yeah, saying they, he's they the they best been trying, They've been trying to violate my boy's legacy, you heard? He's a legend. Leave it like that. Facts. So go ahead, Chrissy Longstocking. So, <laughs> we got the teal grade beanie. I got the G, G clip right here because I have FYL, but you can't see it because it's brick under here. But I do got the Gville hoodie under here. This coat, Sam, Edel, Sam Edelman coat keeping me nice and warm you know we got the cactus jacks right Yo, here. And you know what right now what we're gonna start doing on all these episodes is there's gonna be uh uh what is it called qr a code. qr code that everything that we're wearing in the episode just just scan that qr code it's gonna take you so you can you know we're gonna have the fucking the green bay joints we're gonna have fucking uh, if we got, I don't, the beer, the goose shits is sold out, but everything that we're going to be wearing from now on, you can scan the QR code and you can go directly to FYL.NYC and you can get it on your own. You know what I'm saying? So Fire. from now on, from this episode on, we're going to start with that QR code. So shout out to, to Six for that, for that dope that. ass idea. Facts. And, uh. Pop it up for that. Six yeah. is gone. Yo, and, and, and shouts to FIFA. Shouts to Ray, Frank, Uncle Ray, Theo Ray. Theo Ray, Ray Theo Ray. Frame by legend. Yeah, 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 Bob, you already went in the go, camera go. already. It's too late now. Wow. Yeah, bro. Yeah, oh, you want to wait two hours till we're done. That's yeah, okay. Uh, go to the back. He's hey. nervous. That's another South Face. Yeah. The South Face. The South Face. <laughs> the South Face is a big over here. So, so yeah, um, Theo Ray, Frame by Legends, FIFA. Listen, they the, they, the, they the champs, the MVPs behind the scenes of this shit. They are here an hour early. They are here an hour later, setting up, breaking down these desks. You know, they making this podcast possible. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, facts. When I want to pop it up. Pop it up. Ray is here. Ray is the man, every, bro. Ray is always here. Rain, sleet, snow. And a lot of times, literally, if we're not shooting at the store, we're fucking shooting somewhere else, but Ray has to come here, get the desk, set it up, set up all the cameras. Yo. Oh, he, he gets people jobs. He pays people to help facts. him move shit around, which is, that's that's helping the community, man. I respect Ray for that. 
Yeah. Oh my God, Spike don't care. Yeah. Spike don't play football with girls. <laughs> Yo, I'm growing, Icebox, that I'm, should be the name of my car. I'm growing hair in all the wrong places. You getting Ooh. old, Pop? The older I get, bro, I'm growing hair everywhere except the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Are you going to get a transplant? You be Would checking you yourself? You be uh, checking yourself? No. no. Checking myself. Go to yeah, like you go in the mirror and be like, yo, what the fuck? No, I, I got to see that in the mirror. No, but fucking ear hair. <laughs> fucking, bro, ear just hair. like hair on my shoulders now. Not like not like grossly, like, like nastily, but like. Like hair that wasn't there before. Yeah, now it's coming the around. The older I get, the more fucking weird places my fucking hair is growing. I'm like, what's going on, bro? I'm becoming a fucking a plant. You're becoming Chia a pet. real gorilla. Yeah, a human chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> Grow a unibrow is crazy in your fucking midlife. Facts. Growing a fucking and get the unibrow. fucking lashes like these girls be getting. Yo, Yo I one thing right I now. noticed, bro, it's like the older you get, the more you realize everything you talk shit about is gonna happen to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The older you get, that's the wiser you get, the more you see, and you and life makes you fucking empathetic. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Fact. It's not even funny, it's the truth. It's the truth, Because there's bro. mad situations that I would laugh at people about, make fun of people in my younger years. Fact, that's true. You get older, you be like, It Damn. happens to you, eventually. If you're lucky enough to live long enough, it'll happen to you. And life humbles us all. And that's a true statement right there. That, that, you know, some people don't get to live older age. A lot of people mm -hmm. die young, but the older you get... Life the, will make you sit the fuck turn, down, homie. It's, oh, it will become <laughs> your turn to be, be an asshole. Today mm -hmm. might be somebody else's turn to be an asshole, but your day to be the asshole will come. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's how life uh, is. And uh -huh. the older I get, the more I realize, like, everybody's situation will become yours at some point. So. Or yeah. close to home. Absolutely. Yo, what happened with, with Paz, with your, with your physician, with the one that told you you ain't going to make it in your heart? Damn. Oh. Remember the, like, there was one, a couple episodes that, the, a go that Paz went to his neurologist. Neurologist, yeah. Neurologist, if you if you know if you fan of the pod, you remember Paz neurologist saying like, "Yo, you're never gonna get better," and he was tight about that and was like, "Yo, I'm gonna get better." Go ahead, speak into it. So I go now for a follow up. I, rec I actually recorded her telling me this. She didn't know, and That's the awesome. next time she comes in there, I'm watching. She's asking me the same shit. Look, I'm like, bro, the girl that just came in here asked me all of this. What's your name again? Bro, she's not even a fucking neurologist. She's just some <laughs> fat white lady that works there. It's like, what is she, she's the assistant? assistant? Like a helper, my nigga. She's not even a doctor, bro. Wow. She told me, bro, I fucking lost it, bro. I That's flipped in there. Then they try to like, the neurologist came and tried to like, I'm like, why would you have her tell me that? Did you condone her? Did you tell her to tell me that? Yeah. Like, what's going on here? Facts, that was creepy. So, uh. They kicked you out the office Yeah, they day? kicked me out the office, facts. And told me she doesn't want to Nothing be my neurologist. Crazy. And uh, I agree with her. I don't want you. I don't want you to be my neurologist anymore. Nah. You or this fat slob. And they were all looking at me Why like I was Why you pointing at me, bro? <laughs> nah, I, I was pointing at Scram. <laughs> <laughs> facts. And uh, this yeah. This guy dressed in Miami colors on the coldest on day the coldest so far in 2024, bro. He don't get cold, bro. Yeah, he don't get cold. Look at him, his coat's open. <laughs> yeah. Now, Paz, you can't let people project their negative insecurities onto you like that. You yeah, know? but I was going because... that to a doctor's. You know, I'm going through some crazy shit. Like, I, I'm looking for advice, something positive. She tell me yeah. that. She's not even qualified to say some shit like that. Yo, so it's fuck her life. As you were saying that, I was thinking, like, there's certain jobs that certain people have for certain reasons. Yeah. So, for example, like, if you're in the medical field or a neurologist or something like that, like that's a job where you go in and it's it's not just a nine to five. Like that's a way of life. Like you gotta put the patient. Yeah, that's out. a different. Yeah, that's a different you know, type of job. Going, you know, yeah. Oh, like, smoke gang, up, Mac. Mac. Come here, my boy. Come here. Come here, Mac. Yeah, yeah. It was good, my you No, know, Smoke yeah. Game Mac, this is one of the last artists we yeah, told you facts. to go check out. Check them out, man. Smoke. The Tell building. them where to find you, Mac. You can go all platforms, Smoke Game Mac. We here, man. Instagram. Appreciate the dog, man. No doubt. You know that. We outside, man. Smoke Gang Mac.
Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. know that. She one of the guys too. Don't look weird like that. She a guy. No, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even say hi to me. That's she, what happens nah, around nah. here. Yo, are those your white girl sneakers? My she's white girl. They're not. Stuff. No. All right. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cause I wear my sneakers. Ain't no, that's what you're supposed to do. Exactly. You're supposed to, so we get another gonna, pair. Gonna, chill. You're, you're gonna be cold. It's cold. Uh, yo, you brought yo, you brought a thermos. Hell yeah. What you talking about? What's in about? there? You know, mushrooms. Also, you got I'm, mushrooms I'm in 60, there. I, you know what? It's hot. Good I saw idea. steam coming out. But there's out no, that there's shit. no alcohol in here. This is actual tea. I'm 16 days sober, by the way. That's Cal fire. fire. California sober. I'm still smoking, but yeah. right. I stuck so to what? my resolution, and we just out here not drinking. Clap it up! Clap it up! For people sticking to their guns. Everybody right? stick to their resolution great. except us. Damn. Damn. Scum. Yo. Eso. Eso. Yeah, but so. I'm not like a craquero or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I took a, I, I relax, my, my bad, my bad. That's, can right. you know why? Because Paz couldn't deal with being, you know, when you, when, you, when you get clean, they say people, places, and things, you stay away. So when I first got clean, I stayed out of Coney Island for probably my first 60 to 90 days. Um, What's up, huh? Look, my first 60 to 90 days, I stayed out of Coney Island. I didn't get a haircut. I didn't. I just stayed out of here because I knew if I came back here, I don't know if I was strong enough to not get high. So the other day we went to um to the Hub Studios. It's like D Block, you know, second studio. Uh, shouts to Poobs. Shouts to you know the whole D Block. Shouts to Yonkers. Um, Facts. And after I laid my verse for this movie that we in, that I'm in. Um, no, we in, because you was there too. Paz, the whole crew was there. Facts. Um, we go into the other studio, and Corey Guns is there, uh, and, the, and his whole team, the whole militia, shouts to Whispers, shouts to the whole, you know, militia crew. Facts. Good so dudes. while I'm constructing my rhymes in the booth, Paz is in there, and up to that point, he hadn't smoked. And then they just passing around weed. I come out. I see Pa smoking. I said, yo, come on, we gotta be out. We out. It's it's time to go. And uh he couldn't handle the people, places, and things. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't strong enough to to not smoke weed, to uh, resist the peer to the peer pressure. You know what I'm saying? A grown man, almost fucking uh 50 years old, can't apply. Uh, 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 resist peer pressure. Fuck out of here. You know no self-discipline whatsoever. I'm not doing because of you, no, Dad. <laughs> I think about learning about watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't passing. Yeah, she's her. laughing, but she has no idea what that is. It sounds <laughs> funny. <laughs> I That's can't laugh. Old school That's weed commercials. That's when, we was, when we was younger, there was commercials where for like drugs. The guy yeah. was trying to pass his like peer pressure give weed yeah 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 and and the kid was like yo here take some weed you know marijuana yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and the kid was like no <laughs> he was like what are you chicken He's like i'm not chicken you're a turkey <laughs> <laughs> and the commercial just ends. Marijuana turns you and gay. And then it was one with a fart. Turn you gay? <laughs> no, <laughs> it definitely turned me gay. Yo, but that's like the old. <laughs> that, was the, that was the gateway drug? The, that, that was the gateway gay drug. That's what I said. The gateway. The gateway. I put the gay in gateway. So, again, yeah, tell the people how marijuana turns you gay. Yeah, look, what's up? <laughs> so we, you know, I have a cannabis brand. We do cannabis events, gay and not gay, but look at me. So, don't sm we got the Lost Canna Club. NYC at the Lost Cannon Club NYC. We do dope ass comedy shows. They always showing up. We're doing another one February 14th, Valentine's Day. Fire. This comedy show is going to be different. We're doing a live dating show. So, you know that old school show, Singled Out with Jenny yeah, McCarthy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, it's going to be like comics, like single comics. So, we have like which I would love for you, you know, you're not single, never mind. We ain't gonna be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're not even gonna be in town. No, but I'm saying for another month. We out, we're gonna be on the 14th. When you guys are back though. We're gonna be, somebody guys. We're gonna be, uh, I think. <laughs> Every time, it's all good. I'm gonna count, that was three times today. Yeah, we're gonna be in like, invisible. the Bay Area or Washington or somewhere around Sorry. the West Coast around the 17th. New Four, Mexico. 14th, right? That's around, Valentine's Day. Around Valentine's Day. We're going to be on the road on Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, right. absolutely. Yo, I got you guys a good present for that. So that's going to be fire. Is it more sex toys? No, no. I'm saying the, <laughs> the present he already gave us. The present he oh, gave us. Oh, yeah, we're going to be in the Sprinter van. Don't look in the background. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell him. Don't, don't look, look at, at me. Don't look at me, little puppy. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
You should have got Wait. past a, a, a little person's one. Wait, you can you tell a the midget person. story? We don't you say that. Midget? Oh, you can't say that. That's Wait, midget? The F what if you know a midget? They, they, a dwarf, excuse me. You can't even say can you, M. Can you take that out? You can't say the M. You can't say the M. You can't say the M word on this podcast. Nah, you know. can't say it. It's well, little take people. it out. I meant out. dwarf. Don't, don't get me canceled. <laughs> don't get me canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, pedophiles uh, can yeah, we call them by their names. Yeah, we did talk about pedophiles and conspiracies. We can talk yeah, yeah. about majitos. Little <laughs> Small, small let's, people. Let's give, them a, let's, let's give them a different name. Like a cute one. How do you say midget in Spanish? I don't even know. Chiquito. Chiquit enano, yeah, enano. <laughs> yeah, you like enanos? <laughs> enanas? Sorry Ena for saying that. Enanas. Enanas. You like nanitos? Nah, there was one time, though. Nah, serious? I'm gonna tell you a story. You wanna hear the story? Oh, you got a pie story? Yeah. yeah. This shit is fire. Fact. So we went, we went out, me and my cousins, to the club, and uh. Look, as soon as you said it, the, 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 the final boss of the El Ninos comes. Yeah, <laughs> man. <Good word>. Uh, <laughs> So go ahead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so um. See what it says right there? No, it's open. It's open. If you ain't buying nothing, you can't go in. But go right, ahead. You the man. You the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Hold up. Twenty bucks. He don't buy nothing. I know he's not gonna buy nothing. He's trying to get the twenty back from the, <laughs> from the party. <laughs> He owe me a Yo, job. somebody we knew came to the to the anniversary party. Bro, they came drove. In, they yeah. drove. Yo, right. can I can I, can yeah. I fucking talk? I can't believe it. Yeah, What's interview him. Hey, what made you hey, go into the store? What, what made you go into the store today? Good. Good. Good, good store. Good. good. Did you like the clothes in there? Very good. Nice. Uh, did you buy anything? Yeah. Next time. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Stop me! me. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. So yeah, somebody came, they drove from probably four states away, came right at the ending, and was like, yo, you know, I seen it was going on, I just came through. You know I had to come through. You know I had to come Facts. through. Goes in, Pops like, he's not gonna buy nothing. I said, bro, he came from mad far away, a four hour drive. I said, better dog. And, and I, I seen him walking up to the counter. I said, so I better like, dub. So I'm standing like right here, Paz is here. So I'm like, I see him walking up to the counter. I said, all right, I bet you're a dub, because I see him walking up to the counter. Two minutes later, Two bro, seconds, bro, it was no, quick. We, I was talking to somebody for one second. Paz is like, you owe me a dub. I said, bro, he's still in there. He said, bro, he, I looked, his car was already gone, bro. <laughs> and I went to Steph, I said, yo, Steph, homie bought something? He said, no, he came right up to the counter, looked around, looked at the stickers. And left. And left. He went four states back home. Facts, Damn. bro. So I, he just went like this. Yo, Nims. With his phone. Oh, yeah. He came to me. Yo, Nims. That's what I up. said. He yo, put me on a FaceTime with somebody I never seen in my life. And they were like, yo, Nims. What up? Like, like we were long lost Driving friends. four hours for clout is crazy. Did you ever get your $20? Nah. No, he's trying to get it back now. <laughs> yo, double or nothing. You had a double um, or nothing. We're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to the El Nino story. El Nino. Not <laughs> Nino, Nina. Nina. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they plucking. Yo, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. That. That's crazy. I like them little birds fighting. That's fire. Call yo, me so out. one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. <laughs> hey yo. When Bing <laughs> Bong first came out, right, and it really was at the height, and I was you know every night it was I was booked at different strip club, um, different appearances. The one thing I noticed. Right? That besides fame, besides money, besides anything that makes women and just people in general go crazy for, more than anything, is clout. Mm -hmm. That's scary. More, yo, the strip clubs, That's scary. I would go in, they would give me money to throw. You know what I'm saying? So I would have. But even before I threw the money, the whole, all the women swarm. The guy, bro, guys jump over women. For clout, That's I never crazy. yo. It made me realize in that moment, like yo, clout is a fucking hell of a drug. Mm -hmm. Over yeah. money, over anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yo, it's ridiculous. I see, I see it now, and we ain't. I'm no bro. You know how I get it. I'm nobody, bro. And people, it's like weird, bro. Just to like yo, you serious? Yeah. Get the get the fuck, out. fucking idiots, bro. Grow up. <laughs> So what happened with you and a midget? El Nino. 
Niña. Not the M word. No, no, no. Ni uh, well. No, no, know. niño. No, no, no. <laughs> I was testing it. Never, never, Niña. never. Never, never, never. Never, Fact. never, never. Never, never. But um, so this is like when the clubs is really clubs. You know what I'm saying? We people Who got party. The hand warmers? People really party. Not like now, we go to the club, everybody just standing there smoking hookah, looking at each other, you know what I'm saying? We used to really, you know what I mean? So it's it's like the circle and there's a, a midget in there. <laughs> so you know, I got up on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my cousins and my man, they cracking up, I'm up on her. Flex, Nikki, flex, Nikki. <laughs> so I take her to get a drink, you know what I mean? <laughs> to get her a drink, I'm kicking it with her. Nah. Yeah, facts. Dead ass. I'm serious. You don't, yo. Man, that's a risk. That's hilarious. So check it. Yo, so just to have the balls to walk through the club. Yeah, holding like hands. that. Excuse me, excuse me. And look through like. Do it on, do it that way on the camera. Yeah. Starting trouble. All right, right, right. I'm a brown. See you later. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yo, push out, chow, chow. <laughs> like that. And then when we got to the bar, you know how it is. So I had to. Nah. <laughs> that ass. And she had little tacos on in the sun dress. You put it on top of the what? bar on the Little high heels. Store. No. Little high heels, dead ass. Where did she get high heels from? Like little um, kid? She probably got it from like a Barbie doll or some shit. <laughs> fat ass. You put it on the bar? Yeah, she had a fat ass. I was on it. Flex they, the kids. They have fat asses. They all. Yeah, she had a big head and that voice. You know, they ain't got the wind voice. <laughs> so, so now she had real friends with her. You feel what I'm real saying? Friends. More little friends? Yeah, real friends. Like, oh, real, real like, like humans. Like, 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 yeah, really? yeah, like like Life like, size. like the full um the full load, not pre cum babies, like the oh. full. Oh. Is that what happens? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, I was gonna drink Mountain Dew. And uh, she said, "Listen, uh, I can't talk to you anymore because my friends said your friends are laughing at me. So while she's saying that, I look at my cousins and them, and bro, they crack and they're like, ah, like it's fun. I'm like, yo, come on, come on, bro, make her feel bad, bro." <laughs> you making her feel bad, bro. But uh, yeah, and that I, was your one shot. That was my only shot. Yeah, I ain't never. Do you get, really have a thing for for midgets? I don't know, cause I thought about it after, and if I was like sitting there and a the midget was like, I'll be scared. I think, like, you know, like, <laughs> you if, a girl, like if a girl came, I was like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Let's talk about this is we're driving to Yonkers and we're talking about Stephen Hawkins. What oh his turn on God. was at his, Epstein Island. <laughs> it was nuts. little El Nina's midgets. bowling. Bowling midgets is crazy. No, it was little I like El that. Nina's I like doing. That. They were figuring out like math, math, uh, mathematical problems on a board. Like, on a, like yeah, yeah, reaching on a up board. all the way high on a chalkboard. On a chalkboard, he wanted and them he to go high on the like, chalkboard. No, like yeah. reach. <laughs> Steve no, I had thing. to be somebody putting out a press junket, like just joking. No, though. this is nah, this is court really, documents. This court, this court. Is, <laughs> you have to, you can't lie under oath. I mean, how does that turn you done. on? Huh? Uh -huh. I don't know. He's fucking like the not nah, a computer. The he's computer just was typing. the one. The computer was talking for him. Get all the way up there. Yeah. Get me two midgets now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, no. girl. What I want to know is... I would, I would feel bad making fun of him in any other situation before I found out he went to nah, Epstein Island. I, I, now I, I don't give a fuck. Nah, even before Epstein Island one time, they had him like on TV, on like an award show, and I was like, why the fuck they did that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit, it's just like... It's just like, it just like... Ah. Ruined. That's what I'm saying. Please. He cheated on his wife. She How? was doing him How dirty. does he even have a wife? First of all, he wasn't always like that. Yeah, so he yeah, went to the yeah. island. No, really? <laughs> oh, you mean? <laughs> Yo, veterans, <laughs> give us 10 push ups right now. I'll do 10 push ups if you do 10 push ups. Oh, it's a challenge. I'll challenge you right now. Tell them to come out. Damn. Because I need to get warm anyway. Oh, you got a booger, bro. You got a booger. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, it's coming out more. What $100 bill? <laughs> nah, you got some fake shit. I got a real one. Can, can you get that? So why? Look at it in the store. Do I have anything in my Let me look at it right now. Oh, this guy's gonna make me throw up. Nah, you, you're nauseous. doing some bullshit, bro. Nah, it's a little old, though. Nah, you're trying to do some bullshit. No, Let me see. It, it has a That's thing. fake, bro. Nah, it's mad fake. Nems, don't touch that with your hand. That's nah, fake. That's bullshit. Nah, hell no. This shit dumb fake, bro. Yo, homie. Yo, get the booger. Get the booger, Ray. Zoom in on the booger. Didn't I get the booger? Get the booger. No, homie, Go this is a fake you don't see that? bill. You tried to just get it off of me? <laughs> see, I'm, I'm gonna throw up. He said, yo, I'll buy yeah. something if you take my $100 bill. Bro, that off-rip off makes it suspicious. I 
I don't know how. You gotta paid. work on your. You gotta work on your delivery. Yeah. Yo, you got, you, your yo, acting yo. skills. No, no, no. This is how you do it. Cause I've done it before. Call a cab. <laughs> when the cab comes, but like, yo. Free game. I'm coming. I'm, you know, no, go no. into the cab and just go. Oh shit! I forgot something here. Wait for me. But here, let me pay you real quick. So you stay here. You know I'm not playing. The cab will be like sixteen dollars. They'll give you fucking eighty-four dollars, and then you just never come back down. They're gonna see the $100 bill and they're not gonna take it. And you know he, so why would you try it here? Yo, you look like Silence is, of the Lambs killer. Buffalo that's Bill. Buffalo Bill. Put the lotion on the skin. It puts the lotion on the skin. It puts the lotion. Say it. Just say it. You fuck me. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. Come on. You fuck me? Nah, he's a, he's a drummer. I'd fuck He's a drummer. Yeah. Facts. Table drum. Let's see it. Let me see something. Somebody got some chopsticks? He's a real drummer, like he's nice. Like he's nice, professional. He must be. Dead ass. For real, he's just a fucking... <laughs> Have a good one, bro. All right, bro. Get a napkin, bro. You got a big-ass booger, dead, for real. For real. Nah, nah. 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 Kill you. Use the $100 bill. Use the $100 bill. <laughs> Put it right in his pocket. There you we'll go. Save it for later. You Probably also, got, you also still touched got that some dollar residue. with your hands. Is, is it that shit like a gold touch time? Yo, you touched that same dollar. <laughs> Everybody, bro, the world. You fucking, sniff fucking coke out of that right? dog. Uh, you know how he many He obviously fucking, just <laughs> used it. <laughs> yeah. He's keeping Yo, it for you later. You know how many? That shit got many, heroin uh, on it. Every dollar, paper dollar that has you so touch. so much coke residue. Besides coke residue, has mad dick on it. What? People, People take a piss, a pay with their fucking money. You touch a mad dicks when you touch a dollar. <laughs> Damn. Before yeah. you pee? That's, yeah. why, that's yeah, why I go facts. cashless. Yo, I, I, I wash my hands before I pee. And they be like, yo, actually, when I walk out the bathroom in a crowded room, somebody asks me, you don't wash your hands after you pee? No, no, before. no, I don't touch my dick. I just let it fucking, <laughs> I just open my pants and go, woo. Stop, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That should have been like, <laughs> <laughs> So what happened with the what happened with the El Nina? Did you beat El Nina? Her? Nah, she she told me she couldn't talk. You to ain't me. even get the number? Nothing. She ain't fuck with me. Her real friends told her like they fucking with you, but I wasn't fucking with her. So they, why you ain't just say that, yo? From I the wasn't. Of my heart. I, I, I tried, but these niggas was like, oh, I'm pauses. Pause is cool. <laughs> yeah, I spent a little bit of time. Yeah, yo, every, why is this guy a little, even talking? But little, why is he I, not mic'd up? You shouldn't mic him up. Prepared. A little I'm bit. Of, I spent a little bit. I spent a little bit of bread on. <laughs> come on, one drink. That shit probably got her twisted. That one drink. <laughs> you think? Do you think they have a, a, a big tolerance? A high tolerance? No, I don't way. think they so. What I if think they, what, what if they're alcoholic? I never seen. You never seen an alcoholic midget. I never even seen an alcoholic midget. You ever like, seen a fiend midget? Yeah. You they, did? I did, and there was a midget back in the days. We had to jump him. We didn't know he was older than us. We was like 12. His name was Tone. Nah. Yeah, he used to play ball. He used to like bully us. And then my man, his older brother was like, he my age. And we was like, where? We chased him out of Kaiser. We beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Facts. He was in the freak show in Coney Island. Little Tone, dead ass. Little Tone. Uh, how how long? They still living now? Yeah. Why they they live short lives? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. They live short lives. <laughs> I, I don't know. What's the life expectancy of a midget? No, stop saying that. I don't. Fuck it. Now it's over. Now. Harry. Do they get their orders replaced? You think? Or they got good aorta? <laughs> or it's like a little one? Every. <laughs> everything is like operation. The game. I <laughs> 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 fucked up. Look at that coat. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We might have to edit that whole shit from Nah. That's what that's the, content uh, over everything. What up? Huh? Content over everything. That's bad though. Nah. No, that's what? a good story. Tito, it's a true story. <laughs> bro, you said that joke like three times already, bro. <laughs> that shit is funny. Cause they little, you know? <laughs> you know? You know? Yo, now listen. Coney Allen Artist of the Week. We getting back to that. I want to shout out my man. Did I do Star J already? No. No, you did Frankie Face. Guy and that's it. <laughs> this girl's fucking out to snacks. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, what does that mean? That means you right, fucking taking up a sip of your tea real passed. quick. <laughs> I bet. Yo, my Coney Allen Artist of the Week. 
and somebody from my projects, O'Dwyer Galton's, been putting in work, was running with Bash, running around with a whole bunch of different people, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like the more projects he's been putting out, the better his lyrical content is getting. And that's my man, Star J. And uh, I want to shout him out. Go check him out on all platforms. Um, we're not playing them on the thing no on on the radio no more because YouTube flags when we play the music. Mm -hmm. But I want to give a shout out to every by the end of the, every episode. I'm shouting out a different artist in Coney Island to show them to show more light to the community over here because we got mad wild dope artists over here and That's we true. want everybody and to Star shine. Star J got a good body of work. Like if yeah. you see his, the way he's getting better. I actually better have better. a song and video with him. It's called. Uh, Light skin baby with the snotty nose. That's a crazy title. I didn't. I didn't title with that. That's the name he of the did. song or the album. Light skin baby with the snotty nose. That's uh -huh. the name of the song. Oh, and uh, the, there's a video out. Nems Star J. Go check them out. Boom. Shout out Star J. Now, Salute. you know it's time. Scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got? What's we'll start from the, from down there? Yeah, you started. Yeah, Chrissy my won't stop bag of the week is my vet, my veterinarian. So my cousin was walking my dog the other day, and you know how you, you get you have your dogs. They say hi to other dogs, and you ask like, "Is your dog friendly?" Yeah. Or else you back the fuck up, or the dog has a muzzle. The guy said yes. Winds up biting my little baby Thor. Your little like, baby Thor is not a baby, bro. That's he's a Thor. baby. I'm and, a baby. And he's your big. dog got ADHD, bro. And All it's right, a we're big. literally the same right. person. All right. <laughs> we're literally the but same person. But it's a person. big right. dog, though. Your dog is not like my dog, like a little dog. Your dog is fucking... I don't like little dogs. They're like little shits. I mean, I love all animals, but I, I am... You just said you don't like... Big ass dog. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. They're just yappy. Anyway, so he gets bit, so... I'm like not too far. What kind I, of dog bit your dog though? <laughs> it was like a little dog. <laughs> not, not a little ass dog, but it was smaller than him. And winds up like kind of like biting him in the eye and kind of like just like attaching. And then the guy just walks off. My cousin's checking, checking out my dog. So there's two scumbags in this story. The guy that let his dog bite my dog. And then when my cousin was attending to Thor, the nigga just walked off. Like really? she couldn't find him. He like he dipped. He just dipped. And he knows that my dog was bleeding. So that's the number one scumbag. Then I go to the vet. I'm a little bit, you know, like I'm fucking nervous. I just picked up my dog and my cousin. I drive, fly to the vet. And again, he's not so bad, but he's never gotten into anything, you know? So he's bleeding. And I walk in and they're like, hey, and this is my vet. And they've seen Thor before. And I'm like, hey, I don't know what to do. My dog just got bit. He's bleeding from his eye. And it was three girls behind the counter. And they all looked at me like, just stared at me. Like it was so fucking weird. I'm like, I didn't walk into a fucking diner. I'm literally at a vet yeah. with my dog who's bleeding. And then, so I repeated myself, I'm like, my dog's bit, can I see a fucking doctor? You know, can I see a, you know, a vet? And they were just like, one girl just like chuckled and like walked away. Dead ass, dead ass. Should've Should I shout up. them out? Yeah, shout yeah. them out. Fuck you, Pure Paws Veterinary. I'm not going back Where to Where they you. at? That's on uh, Fulton, 944 Fulton. Damn, Scumbag. So listen, listen, they took, they took <laughs> Thor in and he's good now. But that initial reaction makes me never want to go back there again. Because it's not like I, I'm there with my dog who's injured. Like, it's not it's nothing crazy. Why else? That's else another job where you should be a little, because people with their Yo, pets. Yo, vets? That's what we're saying. Like, you, know what I'm saying? you should be empathetic. Yeah, to people. Yeah. yeah people Yo, are vets, yeah, my are vets doctors that can't make it? Right, right, right. What? No. Are vets well, my doctors cousin, that can't make my it? My cousin was a veterinary assistant, and now he's a heart surgeon. So really? it, could, it could go the other way too, okay. I guess. But if you if you went, they they could go into that field. It's like the same, the human and the animal. You gotta have a love, cause I be watching. They be having the, the the vet shows on like National Geographic and shit. Bro, you gotta be, especially, I mean, especially in New York, people got all types of crazy shit. You gotta be okay with touching fucking birds, dogs, yeah. cats, and night. You gotta have something in you that, cause they sense yeah. fear. Facts. Mm -hmm. So when you can't be scared of anything, you just gotta grab them up, fucking you gotta be on your ace lizards. Oh yeah. Right. My cousin had like eight cats because he worked in the vet and they were about to kill them and he'd take them. Like, nah, I ain't gonna kill them. Yo, I did community service in Staten Island one time and we're gonna get to your scumbag soon. I did community yeah. service, right? In Staten Island. I was like 17, right? So I had community service. They put me at some place by the Staten Island Mall. It looked like a house, but it had like 
the parks department thing in front of it. You the know, logo, the, the, the logo. Leaf, that yeah, leaf. like yeah. I go in. It's every animal that they find in New York City parks. They bring to the Staten Island. They bring oh, like to the this, wildlife. They bring to this one house, bro. They had a monkey in there. They had a fucking uh, 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 a baby crocodile. They had snakes. They had fucking pigs. What they want the do doing there? I just had to like clean up. Everything is caged up. They had mad gut, uh, ducks and geese in the backyard. Everything. So you just cleaning shit up? What? Yo, this shit stunk. Facts. Crazy. I can imagine. That's like yo, a zoo, bro. I've never seen something like it before, though. And I was like, yo, every park? Yeah. So, so if they find something in a park and they call up, these people go, pick it up, and then bring it to this house until somebody claims it or they figure out what to do with it. That's nuts. I don't know if it's still there. When I pass, sometimes I pass there. And, and the house is still there, and the Parks Department logo is still there. So they probably still do the it's same shit It's probably still there, but Facts. yo, it was like an eye opener. It was like a random small house that you would, that people probably pass every day and don't know what's in there. Facts. And it's fucking... And then when you find out, you'd be like, wow. Bro. Crazy. Yeah, facts. That's just crazy. get trapped when, off. When you and I used like to Henny live Young together. With the one -liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King of the one liners. I know, just throwing <laughs> it in. When you and I used to live together back when we were younger, there was a crib like not around the block and I remember I'm just playing with my friends and this dude, well actually no, she was a woman, she had she I guess she was a vet. She had a fucking baby kangaroo in her garage, in really? a cage. I swear, I, I touched it and everything. I went and it was like, gra it like you know how they box? Yeah. It like grabbed my hand, it was so cute, but I'm just like, it was a baby? Staten Island, a baby kangaroo, That's, Bible. How the fuck swear. that shit got out there, right? I don't know, Why but would that you just reminded me. I don't know. If you don't have a big and that's a real a true state story. Where, the, where these things could run wild, why would you do, like the dude in Harlem, that got with the, the tiger, Oh, yeah. that was and a, the crocodile. Yeah, fast. Like, yo, why would you nah, subject they, the animal they, they to they this? Little yeah, and it's cute, and then the shit grows, and you like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You should yeah. not be keeping a baby kangaroo in a cage in Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, that's also, true. that Facts. like, if I knew what I knew now, I would have fucking gave him a little quick call. <laughs> what up, uncle? yo? Yo, Cootie Love, what up, man? You want to make an appearance on Outside appearance. with Gorilla Man? Come on, come on, come on. Come here, give me five on TV, man. Nah. I'm not the one. That's my uncle right there, guys. Shout out to my uncle, Big Cootie. You know what I'm saying? Always Whoa. love. Yep. What's your, oh, so who's your scumbag of the week? Oh, my scumbag of the week is uh, Busy Rivera. And I'm, it's not because, it's not because of this. It's because I spoke to him and I said like, yo, tap in with the American Heart Association. I think they'll fuck with me because I'm a miracle, what I went through. And he like, I need followers. I was like, what? Like, that's basically, he didn't say like So you like basically that. need more clout to get into yeah, the Heart for, Association? Even though I had two, like, I know they'll tap in with me. Reach out. And he said, he didn't basically say that I don't, but he, that's what he said in, in, in layman's terms. But like, who's the scumbag, Busy or the Heart like Association? Yeah, little brother, you heard? Facts, that's a smooth <laughs> ass walk too. <laughs> That is he so knows he's free. He's not in our yeah, back so no more. Yeah, so busy. Scumbag. Scumbag. Some management I got, huh? Yo, my scumbag of the week. We just had the one-year anniversary of the store. Uh-oh. It says clearly on the store, if you ain't buying nothing, you can't come in. We refuse service to anybody that's not willing to spend money. Right? You just saw it live on camera. People going into the store, not buying nothing. I want to do videos. Yo, that happens all the time. People yeah. come, fucking, fucking filming, fucking yeah. taking fucking pictures. pictures, videos, all of that. And then don't buy nothing. Don't support. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, do us all a favor. Don't do it. Hey, <laughs> dear, don't do it. Do us all a favor. Go shop on the website if you want to just look around. For mm -hmm. the browse, right? right? This said, there's, a, there's an alarm on the door. You can't come in unless we buzz you in. So if you mm -hmm. got to go through all of that, just... And you can't get out unless fact, you get buzzed. There was somebody <laughs> last week or two weeks ago that came from Canada. Canada. Came into the store. I saw it in my DM like, yo, we in front of the Nemesis store. And then I hit Steph like, yo, I didn't get no picture because everybody that buys something, she sends uh, me the picture. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, did he, these people buy? She said, no. And they came from fucking Canada. <gasps> Damn. That's so clout. That's Canada clout. That's clout right there. That yo, is, and also is, people, people come here on a regular basis and think I live here. <laughs> like you, you got a to, house in the back? Like, yo. <laughs> Like, 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 I have an apartment in the bathroom. Yeah. They come the first thing. Yo, where's Nems? Call him out the back. <laughs> Steph is like, yo, he don't live here. <laughs> it's a store, but he don't live here. Right. So, those are the fucking scumbags of the week. Get the fuck Get out of here. Get the fuck. Get your oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Hey, Busy. Clap, Clap it up, Busy. Busy is a, is a scumbag, though. Yeah, facts. Busy. Thinks who he is. He's Think very arrogant. He is that you know, guy. And you know what's very ironic is that the bottom of every email that Busy sends out, I don't know if he still has it on his new one, but his old email, it had the definition of ego. On the bottom <laughs> of every email that he sent out, it said ego, and it had the whole definition like fuck. And he's the one with the biggest ego. Yeah, arrogant. facts. He really thinks he's the artist. He, he shows, thinks he thinks who he is. Yo, he shows up later than me when at, at events. Not all the time Fair because I have to enough. tell him about himself. Like, yo, yeah, homie, yeah, like yeah. your job literally is to get there and make sure everything's smooth before when I walk in. He always just disappears. Vamos. Yeah. Like, yo, the Irish yeah. goodbye is fine. But not when you're in a working environment. When you're doing the podcast mm -hmm. to just skate off. Yeah, yeah. It's unacceptable. So, you know. He's definitely a scumbag. Scumbag. He's the scumbag of the month, yeah, not even the week. You're getting smaller and smaller here, Busy. What the fuck are you doing? Hanging by a thread. Now, what are you wearing today? You wearing some fly shit, cologne-wise? That's too cold, bro. I ain't even putting... I ain't, what? I, 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 was gung, I was going to, I reached for it. I said, man, fuck that shit. Really? Really. So you out here stinking. I don't stink, bro. I take showers. I can't go out without wearing fucking cologne. You got something on? I got the same, the Creed, the white bottle. I'm just rocking that okay. all month. Today I put on uh, Parfums de Marley. It's called Carlisle. Um, Carlisle. Shouts to Bones Brigante. He has a dope podcast that just talks about fragrances and colognes and all of that. He put me on. I did his podcast and he put me on. And he gives you breakdowns like, yo, this one has nutmeg you with a hint a of orange. Cologne. I was just yeah, gonna Yeah, we're gonna say do that, a, a cologne called okay. Gorilla Piss. Gorilla, Gorilla piss. piss is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live from the jungle, it's gonna smell like the rainforest. That's nice. a good scent. Though. But 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 nice. my man Bones Brigante, like he breaks it down, like yo, nutmeg and orange and hints of lavender. Like I'm like, bro, I have no idea what that means. Just put me on the shit that smells good. Mm -hmm. And he told, he put me on to this. There's a whole house called Parfums de Marley. They just make, you know, fragrances, and they have. Is one. it Manhattan or something? No, it's just a. They're all. They're from France. Mm. It's not a store. It's it's a house uh, like like Gucci, the house of Gucci, yeah, yeah, yeah. the house of you know Parfums de Marley, and, that's and this one, this specific joint called Carlisle, is supposed to be like top notch, top of the shit. They are like five six hundred for a bottle. He came through with a nice connect. Gave he had like a he fed, he he ran into a stash of the bottles, and gave me one for two hundred. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Al? That's and. Fine. Uh, yeah, so that's what that's what I'm rocking. I can't go outside without rocking cologne. Yeah. Movies, what's up? What's up? Where's the sleeper picks? Damn, I watched a movie the other day that was good. I don't remember the name of it though. This is so this was is it the good? Greatest podcast. Was it good then? <laughs> come, they, they they they. You know what? They just come, like they just here to hang out. Who's they don't they? come prepared. Who's they? Nothing. You know well, what I'm saying? That's movie then. I'm gonna remember my movie because my movie will start with. 1917. I watched it the other day. I spoke about it on this podcast before, but I didn't use it as a movie pick. I rewatched it recently. It was on like HBO or something. Bro, we spoke about it. It's the it's the what we spoke about where everything is continuously one scene. Through from the start to the finish, the whole shit is just a continuous scene. Yeah. It's it's about uh war uh World War One. Um a guy has to deliver a, 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 a note to another platoon. It's, it's just a dope movie, and, and just the fact that it's one continuous scene is one of the hardest things to do, cinematic-wise. I'm going to check that out. I, I got my movie I, I watched. It's, it's a documentary about Bill Russell, and it's on Netflix, and it was, uh, it was dope. It's two episodes, and it says about his basketball career, 
He won 11 championships as a coach Yo, turn twice the and radio player. So it don't die out. And he was a civil rights activist. I didn't know none of that shit till I watched it. Like, wow. Bill Russell, he passed away last year. He's a Boston Celtic. He had, he had a great life, bro. Really? Yeah, facts. You should check He's it out. He's dead? He died, uh, yeah. How many rings he got? 11. 11. And he did two as a player coach, which is, they'll never do that now. But you get a coach and you playing? That's really? crazy. He was coaching while he was playing? Correct. The Celtics after Red Auerbach. I watched the whole shit, bro. It's, it's real informative and shit you ain't even know that he did for basketball and for minorities throughout America during a very a turbulent time, too. He Yo, played. basketball players back in them days, their contracts was bullshit. Like, Facts. they can't even survive. Like, he auctioned off all his shit right before he died, though. So, and, and Shaq said it on, on the special. He said, Ain't nobody outbidding me for those 11 championship rings. I'm getting those. Shout out to Shaq. Shout out Shaq. Shaq Facts. is the man. He is, but your pumps, the Reebok pumps don't pump, Papa. We got to talk about that, Shaq. That might be the new ones. The new ones, but he owns Reebok. What's up? He don't own Reebok. That's what I heard. Shaq owns the whole Reebok? Bought Reebok, homie. Really? I don't know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. Why do you think they brought in Iverson? Yeah, Iverson's yep, back. Just, Fact, and say, brought back he's the, the He's the vice president, Iverson. Yeah, he's VP. Really? He's VP. Really? What, what's your movie? Yeah. What's your My movie? movie, I just saw Mean Girls, the uh, the new one. Listen, oh, listen. All right, but listen. But that's, that's us. That's us. Seen. We have a, a female, listen, fan, we have a female fan base. I feel like everybody likes Mean Girls. I've never seen You've Mean never Girls. Seen mean I girls? saw Mean Girls. You I liked saw, it yeah, back liked then? It. Was it a <laughs> vegan movie? No, <laughs> it it's, be. Gay. it's a gay movie. I know what it is. It's not gay. gay. Shut up. No. But no, this one. I don't know. It's gay, though. It's gay. No, the remake is gay because that shit was actually um, a musical, and I, I didn't know going in it. So then all really? of a sudden I'm watching, I'm like, this is lit. They had made, they remade it, and then they just start singing, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then the whole crowd, like everybody that went to go see it, every single time they started singing, you hear everyone go, oh. Because nobody <laughs> knew it was a musical. I mean, maybe not everybody, but most people didn't know. Yo, Timberlands is So trash. that shit was whack. It's I mean, no, it was crazy. good. It was Mean Girl, Nostalgia. I'm still talking, bro. Yeah, bro. Sorry, bro. Nostalgia with the Mean Girl movie and the musical, eh. You can skip it. Wait until it comes out. You can wait, wait for HBO. Yeah, on that wait, one? wait for Max or Netflix or something. So you went to the theaters. To yeah, see it? Wow. I was excited. I haven't gone to the movies in a minute. Little, yeah, well, little not, Lindsay Lohan cameo. Yo, shout out to a dope ass movie theater in Staten Island. It's called the Alamo. The dining. They got one. Now, there's mad dining movie theaters, yeah. but this one spot, RZA owns it. That's a so problem. when you go in, first of all, they got Wu Tang merch for sale in there. That's fire. fire. But they have a bar called the Flying Guillotine. So throughout the whole movie theater is old school, like real posters, movie posters mm -hmm. of like Kung Fu movies. Oh, that's hard. But the originals, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you could tell they spent bread on this. The whole movie theater is fucking. Like the Kung Fu movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So the it's the all movies, yeah. The Flying Guillotine, the, the, the place, the bar, has like a replica like model of like a head chopped off guillotine. It, yo, it's just a dope place. So and the 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 food is actually good. You know what I'm saying? That's four. So shouts to the Alamo in Staten Island. There's one in Brooklyn too, Alamo Draft House. That's the one I go to. The subway takes. I thought you were riding the subway. That was, uh, bro, that's the first time I've been on the subway probably in about 15 years. Yeah, I was, now, I was, I was, now, uh, I was, I was dope. I ju we just went on specifically for that. That's the dude from New York Nico's movie. His name is Kareem. I forgot his last name, but his name is just. <laughs> Damn. Chizzy, nothing. Mad fucking loud, bro. Burr. Stupid bitch. Hey, yo. Hey. She gets me tight. That's a big coat. Yeah. I need look, that. Mad shoplifting in there. That's where she going. <laughs> look, look, she turned back. <laughs> she knows. She's like, they caught me. We need yeah. bounty. We're we need bounty. We're you, babe. Yo, so uh, what were we talking about? The, uh, the subway. Kareem, Kareem. Oh, my man Kareem. Uh, he, he was like, yo, come through. Come do my show. And I didn't know really what it was. So we go down in the subway in Williamsburg with like, with like 10. You could tell they're transplants. 
Yeah, yeah, they like they New wasn't York. really from New York, all right? All right, what up? You could tell they wasn't really from New, like, like born and raised in New York. Mm-hmm. So, but they're New like, Yorkers, you know those type. Yeah. So they was like, yo, pick a well, number when we're standing on the platform. They're like, yo, pick a number. So I'm just letting them one, two, three, and I, I picked the last. I'm like seven. I, pick, you know, I just got the yeah, last yeah, number. Like, yeah, facts. So we on the train. What he's like, all right. Let's go to the, who's number one. So number one sits down, gives their subway to I said, oh, hold up. I said, oh, I'm lat? I said, nah, bro. I didn't know what we was picking. I said, bro, I'm not sitting on this train for fucking 17 stops while all these other people. I said, yo, I'm next. I'm now Debo de Ho shit. And they made us walk, like, down this ramp to the other side. They didn't make us. There was construction at the fucking train station. <laughs> so basically, we just debo I deboed the, like, I was like, yo, listen, I'm not waiting for these fucking guys to give their fucking subway tickets. I said, I'm next. Facts. Then we go down, and you just New Yorked it out, thugged it out, put my, yo, what's up, homie? What's, <laughs> what, what questions you got? And then we just uh, thugged it out, but nah, I had, I, that shit came out dope. He just hit me this morning. Actually, while I was taking uh, the lemon water shit, yeah. he was like, yo, let's collab post. I really don't, I really don't like um, collab posts, yeah. but you know, it's whatever. Um, that shit came out dope, though. Yeah. yeah. And then we just got off the train. He threw the fucking Metro card at him. And we re- literally got off the train. Facts. And then whoever was yeah. next, yeah, we out. And then took the Shelly next. Shelly Willie, what's up, man? Facts. It's my guy right there. Facts. <laughs> what up, Bone? You good? You got to get them on the camera, Ray. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Ray. Yeah. We just, t- we just you said you were doing good. Workers. We just said you were doing good, and now look. <laughs> nah, but, but before we leave, before we, we, we get into it, because we, we're about to film some dope shit on Patreon. We're going to do a new segment, because on YouTube, when we do, um, when we play music, it like flags the fucking, the, the, the video. So we either... Because of either, copyright Yeah, because of the copyright shit. So either the shit gets taken, either the video can't be posted or we don't monetize off of the video. Either one is unacceptable. So what we're going to do, we're bringing it to Patreon. We got my man Scrams, a.k.a. Dick Wolf, Dick Wolf on Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically we're going to do a segment called Local. You Wasn't Outside. And we're going to play classic joints, you know what I'm saying, that you probably wasn't outside for. Or if you was outside, it's going to bring back the nostalgia. Facts. And that's going to be specifically on our Patreon. You out, Cootie? Uh, yeah, we got money. Yo. Love you, Theo. So, like, basically, it's, um, we're going to play, I'm just, we're just going to vibe out and play dope-ass music. It's on our Patreon. Patreon, $5 a month, man. Patreon.com slash Gorilla Nems. Every time we film, we film extra content just for the Patreon. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So we might not be posting every day, but every week there should be new shit. And, or at least when the podcast drops, you're going to have a whole another exclusive episode on there. Facts. Facts. And that's patreon.com slash the Nims. I know y'all, is, y'all spent more on worse. Hell yeah. So before we leave, I want to get into some, just something that, that usually... I would keep to myself, but now we're on the podcast, so we talk about shit like this. This, um, like, it even just happened right now. There was people that came that was watching us film that, in your face, they smile and they're your best friends. Mm. Right? They smile and they're for you. Um, but it made me think about it. This person came and was watching and was trying to talk into it. We're probably going to edit it out. But... Um, this person, somebody, there's a, like, there's certain fans that, like, I have that are just ride or die. Like, they, 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 they big me up in any capacity at any time. So this person told me, one of the people that just passed, one of the fans showed me a text that they sent to him, like, yo, get off of Nims' dick. You're always doing that. Why you don't do that for, for me? Da, 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 da. Mm. I'm like, yo, clear hating. And I already uh, uh, told this person about hate and shit that I've seen from them before. But in person, it's all smiles and handshakes. Yeah, facts. That's that dangerous. Shit is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit like that, man, is wild corny, man. We grown-ass men, and this person is probably older than me. And uh, 
to be living life like that, fake, is wild corny, man. If you don't like somebody, just say it. If or don't say, be around them. Yeah. Or wow. don't, when we're filming a podcast, pull up and act like you're happy and giving intake. Nah, your, your intake is un, unwarranted and not needed. Facts. Beat it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to leave you with this last thing. Listen, you know, in the gram, we got mad people with the FYL tags at the end of this shit. You know, I'm Nems underscore FYL. That's Paz underscore FYL. That's CB Life underscore FYL. So those in the know, those people, uh, there's, um, there's certain people, fans that follow us and fucking know who's who. And just know if they had FYL in their name and they don't anymore, there's a reason because of that. 2024 is a new year. We cutting all that fake shit out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not accepting that fake shit. All that shit will be, it don't even have to be handled because once somebody is excommunicated, you don't I, exist. I wish, listen, you don't exist. I wish you the best. <laughs> yeah, went over there. Yeah, but just, went over there. just get Simple. the fuck out mm-hmm. of here. I'm old enough. If I don't want you around me, I don't want you around me. This, this, get the fuck out of here. That's it. And you don't got to be around me. If you don't like my energy or my space, don't come around me. That's Yo, listen, if you Simple. don't see the FYL in their name, there's a reason for it. And you won't be seeing people in these pictures no more. And if I post an old picture with these people in it or certain people that I don't fuck with no more, I'm, I blur their face. I make no qualms about it. Like, yo, this, they're excommunicated. But not saying I wish them any bad. Facts. I wish you the best. Mm-hmm. Go survive on your own. Because listen, I know who I am. I'm a solid individual. And, and solid don't mean, it don't have to mean in the thug sense. I mean solid where everybody around me in due time is going to eat. You know what I'm saying? You see Chrissy got a brand new Jeep uh, Wrangler. Yeah. She joins the podcast. A month later, she got a brand new whip. She got a new white girl, Karen. She <laughs> nah, she Karen. did that. I, I did not do that from the podcast. Yeah. But look what happens. When you elevate, you can continue nah, to elevate yourself in other own. ways. But listen, everybody around me <laughs> is going to get an opportunity. Absolutely. Some people just can't wait. Some people want it when they want it. It don't happen like that. It happens when it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I don't talk about my personal issues or none of that. But just know, if you see... They don't got the FYL no more. They're excommunicated and I don't fuck with them. And neither should you. You heard? Yeah. It's fuck your life all day. We represent. And look who just showed up. Busy oh, look. When right he's not on time. Needed. He has shorts on. And that right there is shorts. outside with Gorilla Nims. We're ending it just because Busy just walked up. Right, he has John, shorts on. fuck up. out of here. Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 